Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're hitting an earthquake, a hurricane, surprise star formation, and an easy-to-read paper on Earth's magnetic field and why pole shifts really matter. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. There was one M-class solar flare, but it was towards the limb and no CME emerged. A couple other filaments released, but did so in directions that are away from our planet. We do have things to keep an eye on here, and we'll get a bit closer look at them, starting with the sunspots. The biggest regions, bottom right, are departing towards the far side, but top left, those are turning in to face the Earth early this coming week. Let's watch the development over just the last 24 hours, and we can see a pretty significant level of growth and complexity. These are definitely a flare watch in the coming days. Yesterday we discussed the solar storm twice in the morning and the evening live show, and at those times the coronal hole stream hadn't yet struck. It has now. Solar storm conditions could continue their reverberations today as plasma speed is on the rise. Already over 500 kilometers per second could go higher. We'll be watching. Top quake of the last day was luckily pretty far out away from populated areas, 6.1 in the Kuril Islands. Always better to release that pressure out in the middle of nowhere. There's yet another tropical storm churning up south of Mexico. That's the fourth one in just the last week and a half, but like the others, this one is also slated to miss landfall, bending west and then out to sea, still tracking every few hours. On to the science news where star formation had been hypothesized to be impossible or at least severely hindered near the galactic center. Oops, another instance where astronomers' imaginations doesn't match physical observable reality. Major stars growing near the middle of the Milky Way. Lastly on the article front, bunch of Uzbekistanis in an American journal telling us how the magnetic field protects our planet, how bad it is during pole shifts, and even though they focus on long cron reversals and not the excursions, the rapid flips like the one we're in now, its basic layman's presentation is helpful. They also discuss how we are seeing the changes indicative of a magnetic pole shift right now. And folks, it goes way beyond just technological risk. Our documentary coming out this fall on the pole shift is sponsored by goldobservers.com. This unfolding catastrophe will break down order bit by bit, and gold and silver are useful at every single stage. For those who say, ah, oh, but you can't eat gold and silver, true, but if you are that behind on prepping that you haven't got food in order, you are already in big, big trouble. You should be thinking a lot further down the line. The major disaster cycle of Earth is resetting, and we're going to see it in the coming years. Stack physical gold and silver, and goldobservers.com can help. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now, at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.